What it do, Ski? It's your boy, Fairly Will. Blah, 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 blah. Take number two. What it do, Ski? It's your boy, Fail34, and today I'm here with my reaction video to Community. Last episode was a deeper dive into the mind of a bit of a It's a throwback to one of my favorite jokes in the entire show. Enjoyed how they went about that episode. Mixed sincere messages, some deeper dives into our characters but also laid out the humor really well. With that being said, let's continue on with season three of Community and just uh, let's keep going with the memes. So as always, if you enjoyed this one, then definitely be sure to smack that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And if you're watching this video early, that means you're one of my patrons. I wanna give a huge shout out to every single one of you. In case you're interested in joining along this journey and getting the full under the raw reactions and more, then definitely check out patreon.com slash 34 in the description down below. And again, don't forget guys, to be sure to check out my social media pages. Uh, feel free to shoot me some messages. We can talk on there or in the Discord. Um, yeah, oh, I forgot to post um, the Discord link in the latest Buffy the Vampire Slayer. I said I was gonna do that for one of y'all. Uh, so, I don't wanna lie about that, so I'm gonna do that right now. And I'm gonna keep this in the video because I wanna show you guys. What do you say, invite? Invite people, copy link. Expiry date? NEVER! Buffy the Vampire Slayer Season 1, Episode 6. <laughs> Let's just dive into community. Yeet. Equally uh, important types <laughs> this of is Law and Order. The goofballs dun, dun, dun. that run around. Oh, this is so good. Perfect. Troy's gonna have to solve the case. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody did this to us. In science, we call that a hypothesis. You find something to back it up and we can talk. Now, if you excuse me, I was watching Mama's Family. Crime shows when I'm bored. <laughs> you boys canvas for witnesses, establish a time frame and motive, and bring me a suspect. We've got 48 hours before the trail runs cold, so start with the last person to see that yam alive. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma understood. <laughs> I, on a side note, uh, growing up, I did watch a lot of, you know, Law and Order for some reason, or I, like, I vaguely remember just it being very prominent in my life. Uh, and I, it always just, I had like, I, I would still watch it, but I would always be very like anxious and scared while I was watching it, especially like the intro <laughs> for some reason, <laughs> just watching this just gave me these random flashbacks to my youth. Anyway. <laughs> oh my God. You gotta love when the community mimics because they just copy the form perfectly. Even the cinematography too. The directing style is so funny. This must have been so much fun to film. Like, it's just the creation of the community. The black guy. I hold up my hand. Did you hold it? Or drop it? Okay, whoa, I had nothing to do with that. <laughs> Couldn't even get in the room. You should be talking to somebody who would want to hurt us. And who's that? Joy Todd. Todd? It's true. I had to take a picture of my yam through the door. See? Your yam was fine when I left. Hmm. Higher image. <laughs> Old West color. Uh, I hate his love for this so much. I can also help. As a psych major, I could provide. <laughs> Any student can check out a key. Got a good roster a key of key side characters. Monday night. Monday night, one biology room key checked out by magnitude. Oh, this is getting all the good side characters. So you're saying you did check out a key, but it was inside your backpack when someone stole it off a table in the library while you were using the bathroom, and you haven't seen it since. Pop, pop! <laughs> Only one Lennon. way to catch a dirtbag like that. It's gonna have to throw it in here. Oh. Alex. Hey, idiot. Guess what? Oh, Spider-Man time. don't care about <laughs> the backpack. Nice. It doesn't make sense. You don't order ketchup. It's a condiment. Troy, Troy hey, walk it off. Troy, walk it off. <laughs> Sorry, my friend, he's a bad cop. I'll try to keep him busy. You guys go to the lab. See if they figured out how our yam met its masher. This level of smushing is consistent with someone stepping on the yam after it was dropped. Uh, so whoever did this was angry. angry. Yeah, Hatred. I just cut him open. Well, whoever did do this does owe you guys a letter. And hey, this yam was about to bloom. Starburn stole Magnitude's key. It's not enough. But we know Starburns did it. Keep the change, Garrett. Well. Break into his locker. You'll find enough dirt to bury him. Oh, Nelly! Why do they always run? Why do they always... You go ahead. Why do they always run? Get 
Kiss me. What? I'll explain later. No. I'll explain later. The explanation isn't the issue. <laughs> it was the guy with the weird head. The army guy. I heard the jar break, and then I saw him running out of the room holding his hand. Look at this, Abed. He weaves it... baskets and lies. What's this about? It's about the killing of our biology yam. Will you please come with us? Is it revenge? Tajik, they broke him last right time. to do whatever you want by anyone, but we'd really like it if you came with us. Please and thank you. <laughs> well, Todd, what do you have to say? I just wanted... Don't answer that, soldier. I'm Lieutenant Colonel Archwood, United States Army. I had the pleasure of commanding this young man in Iraq. What was Starburns doing there? We agreed to withhold that information as part of a pinky swear with a witness. Who honors the pinky swear of a degenerate over the word of a decorated soldier? I'm inclined to agree with the man in uniform. Shocker. Or your group can take an Gavel. app. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Yo, man, you spent your life in the army. I spent mine in prison. Two places where a man's word is only as good as his uniform. Uniform. Oh. Yes. Annie, <laughs> that class already hates us. If we go in there without a case, they'll fail us. I disarmed the IED and returned the child to his mother. I was only doing my duty, and we had plenty of chairs at the base. Thank you, soldier, and God bless your testimony. This is your so witness. stupid. <laughs> but it's also so great. Not one little smudge, except, of course, for one pesky yam that just wouldn't grow. I bet that pissed you right off, didn't it? Is that why you hit your wife? Withdrawn? Is that why you drink and pop pills? Withdrawn? Are you a virgin? Withdrawn? Did stomping on its roots make you feel like a big man? No, it didn't. I mean, I didn't. Todd, zip it. No, you zip it, uh -oh. Uncle Nobby. Is lying to your class, to your teacher, and your to country? me. Stop. Disappointing me, diffuse the IED of dishonesty. It was an accident. <gasps> I just wanted Come. to look. <laughs> and that's how it's done. These destroy his mind. I think I've soul. heard enough. Professor two for Kane, two. May we have a sidebar in your office? Every time he's on screen, he just. I want a mistrial. Todd didn't do it. Um, he just confessed, dummy. He said the jar burned him? It doesn't make any sense. People don't half confess to crimes. I've decided to. Uh, if it pleases the bio class, I have closing arguments. Of course you do. What if our yam's roots were dead before they hit the ground? Hey, that's mine! Look at it. Smushed without being stepped on. Because it didn't have to be stepped on. Because it was boiled. No one noticed because the water cooled off by morning. Boiling water is the icicle stabbing of yam killing. But wait. This yam isn't boiled. Vicky! Swear! I boiled the yams. <gasps> threw off the grading curve so she wouldn't have to go to summer school and we can finally have sex in my parents' cabin. <laughs> God forgive me, I did it for love. <laughs> After all the politics and procedure, in the end, the case really was about biology. Hello? What? Stubborn's got rear-ended in the meth lab and his trunk exploded. He's dead. What? So when is your apartment then being fumigated? Oh, it was done about a week ago. Why are you still here? I brought you some warm milk. Oh, there you go. Yeah. And when they wake up, the Dean will be here staring at you. Sweet Deans. <laughs> That's nice. I believe he's an Oscar winner. Uh, also, in the news, was that serious? Did Alex die? That threw me off. <laughs> Jesus, or is that just part of the throw? Just part of the episode? I don't know. And that was Community Season Three, Episode Seventeen. That was my reaction video. That was their sort of uh, spoof of the CSI <clears throat> sort of style. Uh, and I gotta say, they really, I they, they they must be big fans or study or did the research because they hit a lot of those sort. Of stereotypical beats uh from the chase scenes to the to the good cop bad cop uh, I, I can just mention all the all the points throughout the episode they hit well it comes to form 
community doesn't slip. And again, they did a really good job here and sort of throwing in uh, a, a good amount of jokes here, but keeping a serious tone throughout the format as they have done previously with the Western, etc. And it worked here again, in my opinion. And we don't, I think this is only the second time that we've seen him. He's one of the more infrequent side characters, but funny to see him return again and sort of dive into his military past. I thought that made for uh, a little bit of fun there. And again, uh, just taking this, taking, taking the format seriously, but throwing in the ridiculous and wackiness, but still having that tone consistent throughout it. I uh, just made for a fun watch. But now I'm wondering, is Starburn's actually okay? I don't know if that was just a throwaway or not, but did he actually fucking die? <laughs> That'd be pretty nuts to, to hear, but um, <laughs> when they went outside, I just found it so funny because that's, that's such a staple in those shows, all right? That's one of the spots that they have to go to. It's, you know, talk to the talk to one of the colleagues on the street corner, you know, when they're grabbing a coffee or whatever. It's so perfect. But, yeah, uh, I don't really got much else to, else to say. I thought it was a good, just a good episode. I didn't think it was the best of the season or anything like that, but I just thought it was a good parody episode. What do you think about this one? I would love to hear your thoughts in the comment section down below. As always, if you enjoyed this one, then definitely be sure to smack that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. With that being said, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.